Welcome back guys. From this video I am starting a tutorial on Unix or you can say Linux. It is only the advanced version of Unix that is Linux and the, uh, as you can as you may know that Linux is most powerful operating system. It is an open source and it is widely used in today's world. Each and every computer engineer must know how to use Unix or Linux. Right now I'm on a Linux operating system. It is uh, Linux Mint and uh, on a 32-bit microprocessor. 32-bit processor laptop. So let's get started. Hope you like this video. And also one more thing is that if you want to directly switch to commands and shell programming, you can skip this lecture because this is uh, only the theory based and I'm going to discuss only the uh, Linux biography, hardware requirements and features of Linux and all that stuff. So if you are, if you don't want to waste time on theory and just want to do practical, so skip this lecture. I have prepared some slides and I'm going to discuss with you these slides. First of all, slideshow. Okay, so Linux biography. The main aim was to develop an operating system that could serve a large community of users and allow them to share data. This led Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson, both of AT&T Bell Libraries, to start afresh on what their minds I had so envisioned. Thus, in 1969, the two, along with a few others, evolved was was to be the first version of the multi-user system Unix. Later in 1971, Unix was a 16KB system with 8KB for user program and an upper limit of 64KB per file. But all its assembly code being machine dependent, this version was not at all portable. To remedy this or overcome from this problem, Ken Thompson created a new language called B. B, however, lacked in several aspects necessary for real life programming. Then, this Richie, Richie shifted the inadequacies of B and modified it to a new language which he named as C. The language which is finally enabled Unix to stand tall on any machine. 